We gotta do a voiceover today because y'all know your girl work late and I was not missing this concert. I got these tickets last minute, but here we are. I use my electric eyelash curler. I'm using my brown better than sex mascara. It's my favorite mascara right now. And I decided to put on a little red lippy. So I'm using the newest Fenty red lip. I don't know the exact name, but I will link it in the description. And I absolutely love it. It is not drying at all. Then I'm going in with some deep red black radiance blush that i probably got from like walgreens or something and y'all i need my hair done so we pinned it back and i was gonna wear it up but i ended up wearing it back with the headband and it ended up working out so good shout out to dollar tree for having the best headbands for a dollar 25 but then i'm going in with these shein earrings that i've been dying to wear i've had them for a couple months now and i'm using my zara perfume i think it's the nightfall and then i'm going in with a little bit of my travel size carolina herrera y'all know nick gotta make his cameo but like i said we was running late so let's go so we can go see some coke coke jones Hey, ready? We are at the fair. No, you want to go ahead. Oh, no, you good, brother. You good, you good, brother. <laughs> 
We are at the fair, and the first stop is to get a caricature. An art model for real. It actually looks like us. It's not. It's not ugly. Exactly. Thank God. <laughs> now we finna eat. eat, eat. We just got this stuffed beef patty with oxtails and mac and cheese from Lee's Kitchen. And I used to live behind Lee's Kitchen. Y'all, that thing the truth. That thing the truth. Oh my God. We got Mexican egg rolls, and they are good. Mm. That's good. That's good. The sauce is good. Salmon pops, baby. Salmon. See y'all, we in the place to be. That's Oak City. Listen, these are the hot moms. Very good about myself. <laughs> I feel very good about myself. There's Wait. nothing left. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. We got a slop bucket. Oh, it's sloppy goodness. But that shit smells so good. Yes, it does. It smells so good. I wish I could smell it. We're trying to get a little bit of everything. Mmm. Got chicken salad. Mmm. Yeah. 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 Sloppy. <clears throat> yeah. The food has me delirious. That little slop bucket was good. Food been food. Mm -hmm. Food is been food. Guys! At least you're doing it. I'm scared. Yo, we having a ball. I'm scared. Look how high I am. You're so I'm about to cry. Girl, you've been doing it. Guys, I'm terrified. She's I'm absolutely great. terrified. I don't care what he says. I feel great. like I'm What's about to die. Hi guys. I'm terrified. I am absolutely positively terrified. And I signed us up to do this. Make up your mind, 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 mind. Please don't waste my time, 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 time. My coworker said that these donuts from Peachy's Donuts are like, she, I must try. So, you walk all the way around here, and it's long, long. Very long. It's long, like, it's very long. Like, very long. I'm weak. Just know I'm a Krispy Kreme stand for life. I was telling you I was Is good? Yo. <laughs> oh, Lord. Nick is a Krispy Kreme. <laughs> 
understand. No. So if he likes this. Sunday we are cooking um Nick is at church currently and you know I thought I'd do something nice for him so I'm making him a little dinner so he can watch the game when he get home I went out and did a little shopping I still have to order groceries for like the rest of the month because I grocery shop monthly and not weekly even though I probably should grocery shop um weekly but I went and got some ribs to put in the crock pot and i got some macaroni we're not doing that baked macaroni we're just gonna do a little bit of ghetto around me you know what i'm saying and um we're gonna stuff it inside of a sweet potato with some green beans because he think he gonna get out of eating um a vegetable and that's not the case so yes that's what we're doing happy sunday everybody i hope that this has been a restful weekend for you i hope that life is going the way you want it yeah, we're just gonna get into cooking dinner. has really just been on my brain is like all of the different versions of ourselves if you hear that that's the ice maker it's real dramatic i think it's making more ice but all of the different versions of ourselves that exist in such a short period of time you know earlier this year i decided to lock my hair and for me that has been like you know, an amazing choice that I made, but it was definitely a big decision that took getting to this place to make. And I have really just been reflecting on the different versions of like myself that I have been um, thinking about a lot of the friendships that have kind of, you know, dwindled or fizzled out over the years, the different romantic relationships that I've been in, how my familial relationship dynamics have changed um but also my desires for those things so my desire of friendship my desire of partnership my desire of having a deeper familial connection but also how hard it is how hard it can be to to want these things and not necessarily know where to start i feel like it is so hard to keep up with the people in our lives to make you know get out of survival mode really i think it's hard to prioritize those relationships when you're just trying to get out of survival mode at least for me at least that's what i'm finding and you know i've been trying to work in a little bit more of like what makes me happy finding what makes me happy finding what makes this version of me happy and it has definitely been a journey to say the least because it's not something that i feel like i don't know i don't feel like we got a rule book on how to discover things outside of survival mode you know I'm, I'm not even trying to live a soft life you know the versions of soft life that are depicted across like social media I'm not even trying to do those things I'm trying to live a better version of my life I may not be you know the biggest popping like content creator influencer but I could be the biggest popping me and you know not to toot my own horn but like I'm pretty damn awesome and I hope that you tell yourself that you're pretty damn awesome but when also telling myself that acknowledging places that I can approve learning how to apologize I feel like that has been a big one over the last two years I've been definitely learning how to apologize learning how to speak up for myself learning how to you know advocate for myself in spaces that I don't feel necessarily like 
represented, um, appreciated. Um, yeah, I just really feel like that. And I think for me right now, a lot of like the turmoil in my life is coming from work time, not having time, not being able to pursue like outside interests because I work so much. And when I get off work, I'm just fucking exhausted. And that is really hard. <laughs> In this vlog, you'll see that we went to the fair and it was just so nice. Even though I was on the clock and I was still technically working, it was so nice to feel a little bit of how I felt the first half of this year and last year of like working for myself and just having the free time to do things during the day and like work not feeling like work. And it really put me into like this like sad mood a little bit because I hadn't realized just how much I missed it. I know I knew that I, I wanted to get back to it. I knew that I had like been missing it, but I didn't know how much. But going to the fair during the day, during the sunlight, like that shifted something in me. And I'm really trying to work myself out of that funk. And I've just, you know, I'm creating space for that funk, creating space for the disappointments, creating space for, you know, things that I am feeling. And I think that that's something everybody can do a little bit better at. But I just wanted to let y'all know, like, I'm definitely, I feel like I need to do a video of like, going from being a full-time creator to being a full-time employee and how that has been for me. 